My name's Charlie Jones. I'm the showroom manager for Schmidt Kitchens in Wimbledon. So just gonna show you some of the things that separate Schmidt from other companies. We'll go over to this kitchen here first. This is what's called the ideal kitchen. So every Schmidt showroom has this kitchen in and it's a really good way of giving a price point to the customer of the product. This can either be a blessing or a curse for a customer because there's 139 colours and finishes of doors, uh, 24 carcass colours which you can see over here uh, and as many worktops as you can shake a stick at basically. I've been here for about four years, uh, for six years before that I was working in advertising and Ryan was a client of mine, the director here, um, and he approached me to come and work with him as the commercial manager, basically working with builders, architects, interior designers, property developers, no kitchen experience whatsoever. As the showroom manager, I mean, there's the marketing side of things. Obviously, there's the, the business development and planning, um, looking at the stats, where, are, where is our business coming from? What do we need to do to improve? I mean, anyone who thinks that they're going to walk in and it's going to be a walk in the park is very mistaken, but you don't need to be a kitchen expert to come in and do this. It's not quite the business in a box that you might think it is. You do need to have some business experience and some idea of what you want to get out of it, how to run a business, how to put systems and processes in place. My next step is to, when we open our third showroom, that I'll be coming out of here and running all of the showrooms. And I really hope to be an investor in one of the showrooms for us as soon as possible. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of room for growth. If it's the right person, you can open more than one showroom. They won't just let you open showrooms just for the sake of it. You do have to have a stable business before you can open the second showroom. So I guess in a way, they won't let you get in over your head. I mean, it is very much about the customer journey. So from the moment somebody walks in the door, they're, they're to be treated like royalty, basically. It's everything from the Schmidt welcome, the Schmidt gift, offering them a drink, and just looking after them all the way through the process. One of the good things is, although using Schmidt's kitchen products, you have a lot of freedom in terms of worktop suppliers, sink and tap suppliers, appliance suppliers. So you've got that freedom to choose what works for you and, and what your customers are looking for in your area. Schmidt is a really good prospect, but make sure you find the right location, I think, is a really key thing. It took us over a year just to find the location for the second showroom that we opened, um, and we're still looking for a location for the third over a year later again. So location is key. Don't assume that you're going to sell kitchens in your first month. It may take some time to build up a pipeline and get people in the door. So make sure you've got enough money in the bank to cover your marketing and, and costs of running the business. And make sure you're hiring the right people because people make the business. It's the team here. It's the designers that make this business. You, I couldn't do it without them.